Okay, quick one tonight. So I got a bunch of new toys. I can't play with them until we do the mailbag. This arrived from Amazon today. This is an airbrush kit. And I don't know that much about airbrushing anymore because it's been a very long time since I had one. But I saw these kits with this standalone, basically fish tank size compressor that would be really, really easy rather than a, a normal standard compressor with like a gallon or two air tank and they're loud and they're obnoxious. For my small 3D prints and projects, I thought this might be perfect. Uh, I think I'll do a complete video on this and we'll play with it. But basically, long story short, it comes with an airbrush nozzle and this little tiny compressor and I think I can do some basic stuff with it. Also from Amazon for the same purpose is this airbrush cleaning pot. I don't think there's much to it. It just allows me a place to clean my airbrush nozzle out uh, while I'm working with it in between paints and whatever. You can just spray into it. It's got a little vapor filter and catches all the paint. Not much to it, but we'll give it a try. Maybe a standalone video, uh, maybe just some project videos. Next up, these were sponsored. These were sent to me for review. These are not even out yet. Uh, as far as I know, at the time of videoing this, they're, they're not even available. This is an eTech City Wi-Fi outlet, as well as from eTech City, this is a smart light switch. Uh, conveniently enough, I need a new light switch in my, my kitchen. I've reviewed one of their smart outlets before. Uh, you've seen it on the channel. It was a round version of this one. It works fantastic. I use it every day. I'm really happy with the quality of it. The quality inside was quite good. They're basically just like an ESP8266 inside, but their, their smartphone app and everything works really, really well. So uh, these will, I think we'll do a little standalone video, just both of these. We've got some new meter leads. I like having spare meter leads. These are unique in one particular way. I bought these before from the same supplier on eBay. They're really good, high quality, similar to a, a fluke lead. <laughs> really, really similar, cloned in a lot of ways. But what they come with is this really, really fine tip, which is fantastic for probing on small things that we work on these days, particularly surface mount stuff. It's, it's razor sharp. It'll poke through your skin, no problem. They work really good. They aren't the strongest tip. That's why I've got some new ones. If you drop them on a solid object, it will peen the end of the tip over and pretty much destroy it. They're recoverable. It's, it's no big deal, but they're also quite cheap. Uh, I'll, link, uh, I'll link them down below. Next tip. Oh, these are some battery holders. Uh, these are coin cell battery holders for soldering onto uh, circuit board projects. Um, forget what size they hold. It might be a 2032. I can't quite remember right now, but they're quite cheap and quite simple. Just nothing to it. We can simply stick this down on a small microcontroller board and power uh, like a standalone ESP8266 project, put it in deep sleep, run it off one of these for a while. Next up, I have no idea why I ordered these. We got some dual line uh, LCD displays. And normally I only buy I squared C, which I kind of thought these should be, but there's an awful lot of pins broken out on these ones. I have to go back through my eBay purchases and see what they are. <laughs> Look at this. QA pass is silk screened right onto the board. What? Oh, why do they even bother to do that? Who, who's going to fall for that? Yeah, it, it QA passed all right. It got labeled before it even got <laughs> out of the factory door to be assembled. Anyway, uh, I do have plenty of these, so I can't remember why I ordered these, but I'm sure I had a reason. I got to go back through my notes. I keep a, a little notebook of all the the parts that I've ordered and the reasons behind them because I have so many long-term YouTube projects out there that some of them, as you guys know, will take me like a year to get back to. So there we go. Now we've got them. Next up, this is a little kit. It's the Arduino Uno form factor of a shield. And in here is just LEDs, I think. And this is an LED cube kit. 
Uh, it was just from eBay. I think it was actually IC Station that was the seller. They're just little flat LEDs that you can make the cube kit out of. And I've never done one before. I thought it might be kind of fun. It's got the, what are they, 7HC595s. Uh, I guess that's a shift register. I can't remember. I'll post it down below if I'm wrong. But uh, I think we'll assemble this. It comes with no instructions, though. Not even a single piece of paper. That's... It's kind of crappy. It would be like, again, there's not much to it. And yeah, I could Google it, but come on, at least throw in a single piece of paper for an instruction. But anyway, that might be a fun little kit. Maybe we could assemble it on a live stream or something. It's kind of fiddly. It's a lot of work to assemble those LEDs, but hey, it might be fun. Next up, ah, a maker's best friend. Basic good old alligator clips. Now, I have no idea where alligator clips go. I have like three left on hanging beside my workbench. Where do these things migrate to over the years? They just, like I know I've broken a few and I've repaired a few, but I don't know. Some little electronics gnomes come in and steal them. Anyway, we got two packages, which is plenty enough to get us back in business for all kinds of projects. I just hang them, hang them beside the workbench with all my, my leads, and we can use them as we see fit. Lots now. Next up, nothing to it. These are just piezo buzzers. These are an active buzzer. There's the label, if it means anything. Uh, anything worth seeing? No. Just handy to have for various projects. I use these on my quadcopters, the Betaflight uh, flight control boards, the different, all of them now support a buzzer. And within Betaflight or Butterfly, it supports using a channel to turn the buzzer on to locate your down quad when it's in long grass. Really, really handy to find your quadcopters. Next up. We have some clips. There is nothing to this. These are just a female terminal to these nifty little spring-loaded clippies. They are the two-pronged ones. I like these for surface mount boards and various small boards. And what I really like them for is using with the uh, Logic Probe that I got recently. I've been testing that out. The Sele Clone under $10 Logic Probe logic analyzer. These are great for going right onto the board and it comes with plenty enough to do multiple channels, which is great for, uh, you can do both channels of I squared C or you can do full on SPI. Really, really handy, not much money, uh, not terribly durable. As you can see, this one is already coming apart, but easy peasy, it'll just snap back together in theory. Next up, more Wemos D1 Minis. I don't think I need to take these out of the package. This is the ESP8266 microcontroller in a wonderful little form factor. Great for all kinds of projects. The price is very reasonable on these now. So uh, I bought enough of them now that I don't need to go back and reuse them and keep tearing down projects. I can just leave them assembled. Really nice. Another package of Wemos D1 Minis. Okay, so now we have I'm going to have to have a yard sale with all these because I already have a bin full. So uh, I overdid it. Oops. <laughs> well, it should be good for a while. Next up, standard humidity and temperature sensor. This is, I forget the model on this. I'm going to have to look closely. It is the AM2302. I've never used this particular one before. It looks an awful lot like a DHT11 or DH22, but uh, we'll give it a go. Uh, I bought a couple of different styles because the DHT11 does have accuracy issues, so I thought I'd try a couple other ones. These are handy for home automation projects and just about anything. Really good little temperature sensor and you get humidity for free. That's the haul for today. Good luck in all your electronics projects. Let me know what you're making down below. Click a thumbs up on this if you like these videos. I'll see you in a couple of days.